Oh, they've been trying to for, forever. He has been the most destructive, cancerous growth within the Liberal Party. Uh, he is solely responsible for the lack of success in South Australia because he doesn't care about policy, he doesn't care about principle, he only cares about power. And so he will destroy the, the well-being of the body in order to cement him or one of his little gang into a position of influence. And historically, in South Australia, the wets get in, they destroy you know, the finances, they destroy the credibility of the organisation, then it's left to the Conservatives to go in and rescue it. Uh, they rebuild it to a point and then, you know, the numbers are done against them where it all happens in a cycle. And you go through his track record. In federal parliament, he's never demonstrated loyalty to anything. Uh, he's never had a capacity to prosecute a, an argument um, or, a, or a policy sense and ever, ever achievement there. And he's such a brutal player that people continue to keep him in the inner circle in the hope that he'll you know, be the crocodile that eats them last. And Peter, you're going to hate this, but Tony Abbott fell for that as well. Oh, I um, fell for it, Corey. I freely uh, he, admit, he, I fell for it as well. He, he, he is terrible. I've known him since he was seven. He was a dreadful bloke when he was seven, and I'm telling you now, he's getting worse.